Hey everybody, welcome to a Slocum Themes screencast. Today, we're going to look at the front end editor plugin uh, over on WordPress.org repo, also available in the GitHub. So what is the front end editor? Well, it says it, says it is an edit content inline without going to the admin area, and that's exactly what it does. Uh, with 214,000 downloads plus, uh, you can't go wrong by trying this out for editing your content on the front end. I'd say what it is is a great quick easy way to kind of tweak your blog posts or content pages as as you've already drafted them in the back end right you've spent uh, your time building this great piece of content now you go to view the preview in the front end and you say you know i, I just want to make some visual tweaks so i can see what it looks like uh, with my theme in place I, I say what it is not is something that you're going to sit there and sort of create content with I mean you're not going to be living in the front end editor um, creating content although I suppose you could you'd have to draft the post first and save it and then continue to make the content but we'll see some of the things that might be lacking in this and that's okay this is still uh, a, a work uh, in progress um, some of the uh, editable elements are available on their GitHub page so you can see exactly what it is that we can edit. edit. And things like, obviously, title and content, uh, those are all in there. Um, widgets and, and different things like that um, will be editable, and I'm sure there'll be more as we go on. Um, today's example, we're going to edit this. We're going to use the front-end editor using uh, the Epic Pro theme uh, available on slocumthemes.com. So let's have a look at the front-end editor uh, on the epic theme and you know once you're logged in you can see that there uh, is a little edit button that hovers over to the left and sort of this line that indicates the the entire element that you're able to edit here um, and as i hover over you can see i can edit the featured image the post title uh, and the content within let's have a take a take a look at the content within you can see the little editor um, uh, WYSIWYG drops down so that we can uh, find all of our different options but it's as simple as clicking into the into the content and we can there we are we're just editing live right there where we can remove this content um, and get rid of it totally or we could say um, awesome quote here and we will select that go into the further formatting options It'll drop down here and we can select our block quote and reapply that block quote same thing with links um, selecting that applying the link putting in the name or, or breaking the link so that we don't need have to use it anymore uh, it's very simple um, and it's just adding more content uh, on the in the front end so I'd say that it's a great way to sort of tweak your content uh, as you go so you can kind of see what's happening uh, on the front end one thing I say is missing from the edit option of the content would, would be adding an image. Sure, you can add it, but you do have to link it to a source. So either a, a link to something that's already in your gallery or another place on the web. Um, it would be great if they built in the uh, media selector um, like they do for the featured image. And we'll have it take, take a look at that. So let's have a look at editing the featured image. Um, and it's just as easy as hovering over the edit button, uh, hitting, uh, clicking edit and going right into your media library and this is a really cool feature because I can go right in and pick the images that are already uploaded hit change image and there you have it it's already changed already uploaded and switched over um, right on the fly uh, which is pretty amazing um, so yeah front end editor I think it's a pretty cool plugin um, like I said 214,000 downloads so uh, it's no stranger to the audience people have been using it which is great uh, I think there's gonna be some great features to come um, just a few things that I'd say we're missing uh, but it's definitely awesome if you're drafting a, a long blog Blog post and you kind of want to see what it looks like in your theme and make those changes on the fly it's a perfect solution do I think you're gonna create blog posts and kind of live in this for hours at a time as you create your long-form blog post I'd say probably not there are still some um, you know things that need to be worked out some polishing to be done uh, but a great plugin overall I invite you to go check it out uh, thanks everybody at slocumthemes.com and we'll see you next time